Hi everyone. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create your own character out of props in iClone and turn it into a non standard character in 3D Exchange so you can apply any of iClone's powerful motion tools to it. What I'm basically doing here is just taking some random rock props and resizing and repositioning them to form the shape of a humanoid character. I'll want to import different parts in for each one of my potential character bones. This includes the head, neck, spine, hip, arms, legs, and hands. It's a really good idea to name each one of your body parts appropriately so as to create less confusion later. In addition to this, you'll want to create a body part hierarchy as well. The recommended hierarchy is to start from the outer limbs such as the hands and attach them to the next largest body part. For example, you'll want to attach your hands to your lower arms, your lower arms to your upper arms and so on and so forth. Your head should be attached to the neck and the neck to the spine or the torso. You can see the final hierarchy here with limbs and spine all attached to the hip. Lastly, I'm going to add a dummy sphere prop at the axis of the world plane where I want my character's center axis to be. I'm just going to rename it Stone because it will act as the parent prop for the whole structure. I'll make sure that I attach the hips to the sphere as well, and you can see now that it's the parent of the entire hierarchy. Once that's all set up, I can simply press merge and the whole thing will merge into a single prop. Then I can select the add button in the content manager and add the whole structure as an iProp to my content library. I'll name him Stone Man. Okay, when you're in 3D Exchange, import your prop in, and in order to begin your conversion process, you'll want to select Convert to Non-Standard Character. Now what you need to do is map the bones of your character by selecting a bone on the reference image at the top right, and then selecting the corresponding bone on your model. You'll need to do this one by one until you get every single bone mapped. You can also adjust the bone size if you're finding it hard to select your character's bones. Once the bone mapping is done, go into the property tab and adjust the hip offset and feet offset of your character to give it a proper posture. You'll want your character to be set in the ideal T-pose before you begin to preview your motions. For more on the ideal T-pose, check out our T-pose tutorial. So once I select the active button, I can preview all of my calibration motions you can see that they're working quite well. It looks like I quite literally created a monster. If you think your calibration motions look good, just go on to press Convert and convert your character from an iProp file to an iAvatar file. You can immediately now bring your character into iClone by selecting the Apply to iClone button. This will activate the AppLink feature that will launch iClone and import your character without even going through the export process. Once you're in iClone, you can now use any of its powerful character animation tools on your character. Once a model has been converted into a non-standard character, that means it is now in iAvatar format shares the bone structure of iClone standard characters, and is compatible with every single motion and motion tool iClone has to offer.